welcome everyone to Jonas with Just Commentary. So we're gonna react to a video entitled Okay, by the way, it's by oversimplified again. Hitler. As we know, well, I don't know. Let me just say I'm act like I know a lot of history about Hitler, okay? Before I have to say the wrong thing and I have to offend anyone. So we're gonna react to this video, but Hitler oversimplified, of course. Thank you so very much for requesting it. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video. Mm, leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. Hitler. Look at this baby. Oh. So gentle. Oh. So innocent. Oh. You'd think this child would grow up to become a good man. Oh, he was, was not it? Well, think again. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Hitler was born Adolphus Hitler in 1889 in a small town in Austria, Hungary. His Hungry. father, Alois Schickelgruber, was born out of wedlock, but eventually changed his name Ooh. to that of his stepfather, becoming Alois Hitler. Ah. Alois was a mid level Austrian customs officer. Not really rolling in cash, but certainly rolling in women. Ooh. He married a rich older lady, but then immediately started having affairs, Ooh. including one with a much younger house servant. Uh, a few years later, he left his sick wife to be with his mistress. But since the Catholic Church didn't allow divorce at the time, <laughs> he couldn't marry her. Oh. So he waited for his old wife to die and had a child in the meantime. Then his wife died, so he married his mistress wow. and had another child. But then his new wife got sick, so he employed his much, much younger cousin Clara to take care of her. Then when his new wife died, he immediately got Clara, his cousin, pregnant huh? and then married her his in that cousin? order you rock star. what clara and alois had three children together who all tragically died while in infancy so when the fourth child adolf came along clara when adolf was born the hitlers had two more two, kids and the family moved around a few times meaning really? adolf had to attend five different elementary schools adolf's father was strict quick to anger and took most of it out on the eldest oh. son until he had enough and ran away at the age of 14 leaving seven what? Year old adolf to do most of the chores and get berated that's why this father. guy was uh, I the result was that's a why Adolf Hitler with his dad turned out like that, maybe. Super attached to his mother, who worried Ooh. over him and his health excessively. <laughs> Hitler did well in school at first. His grades were good, and his Ooh, teachers really, He was popular with the other kids and enjoyed gathering them together to play war games. Ooh, he boy. also loved reading and particularly liked stories about cowboys and Indians. Away. As he grew older, what? though, he started to get into trouble. He was caught oh, smoking God. once, organized a raid on a local orchard. Tormented his pro austria religion oh with symbolic gestures, displaying his allegiance to the idea of united Germanic people under a greater German state in defiance of Habsburg Austria. You know, the usual. Wow. All of this enraged Adolf's father, who punished him severely. The area of Austria-Hungary that Hitler lived in was once part of the German Confederation, and many of the people who lived there considered themselves to be German. Adolf tended to just go against whatever his father said, and since his father was an Austrian public official, Hitler got big into German nationalism. Ooh. This enraged Adolf's father. More busy. <laughs> Around this time, a family tragedy struck. Ooh. His six-year-old brother, whom he loved a lot, died of measles when Adolf was ten, and was buried in the cemetery At just ten years. The he was doing all of that. Around this time, neighbors reported a change in the young boy. Strange behaviors such as talking to trees and staying up late, staring at the stars from the cemetery oh walls. My God, he lost interest in religion, and his school grades to... started to decline which enraged his father. More punishment, no, no. It also didn't help that he had just entered high school and the cool city boys treated him like a rural peasant. Oh he man, yo, if he, and had he went for all of that for real? Subjects. Instead, spending his time reading Before and drawing, 15, he which went he was quite good at. That. One day his father said, son, someday you'll be a big balls public official like me. And Adolf replied, no father, I'm going to become an artist and soar high above the clouds with the eagles. This Mommy enraged his father, but by this time oh. he was an old ass <laughs> man, so he just sort of let it go and then died of a lung hemorrhage. <laughs> Hitler just about passed his I final semester and celebrated in working. the typical way that by getting blackout drunk and wiping his ass with the certificate. What? However, he didn't take the overall final school exam, instead just dropping out. The now 16-year-old boy was unemployed without much purpose in life, and for the next three years, he stayed that way. He spent most of his time at the opera with his only friend, August Kubizek. Kubizek later wrote his memories of the young Hitler and said he was passionately interested in many things, felt he was in many ways better than others his age, was quick to anger just like his father and an incredible speaker once he was ranting. Wow. When he was 18, he said a very sad goodbye to his mother and went to Vienna to take the entrance exam for art school. He failed. Ooh. Soon after, he had to return home. His mother was sick and her health was rapidly deteriorating. Hitler stayed by her side, and when she eventually died, the family doctor said he had never seen someone so overwhelmed with grief as Hitler was. Then Hitler returned to Vienna, still hoping to find a career in the arts, but he never did. Instead, without parental support, wanna... Hitler ended up on the street. Now in his early 20s, yo. he spent a few rough years living in and out of homeless shelters, Is making like a little he could from selling postcards he painted. It's hard to pinpoint exactly when and you know, how Hitler's extreme ideological as beliefs adults, formed, but his time in Vienna would have certainly played a role. We see people as adults was and they've gone for a lot The mayor, who Hitler supported, was an outspoken anti-Semite. There were many right-wing anti-Semitic newsletters, which Hitler took a keen interest in. 
He bought into the conspiracy theories and became a firm believer in the idea that there are many races in constant struggle with one another, the purest of which were the German Aryan people, and the worst of which, he believed, were Jews. Jews. Since Austria-Hungary wow. was a multi-ethnic empire full of lesser races, that's why you have Hitler to take care of children so when he was more than he moved something to good Germany because they're going to turn up like service. we. And for one more year, he was a drifter on the streets until if something huge happened. Done, done, in 1914, yeah, long-standing yeah, tensions in Europe go erupted into the First World War. Crowds across Europe celebrated the news. Within days, Hitler volunteered for the German army. The war gave him a purpose in life. His fellow soldiers wow. gave him friendship and brotherhood. Despite the horrors of war, Hitler considered it to be the best time of his life. Wow. He was reportedly a brave soldier and was awarded the Iron Cross, first class. He was also very lucky and had many close encounters with death. His luck ran out in 1916, however, when an artillery shell injured his leg. He went back to Germany to recover and was outraged to find a general apathetic anti-war attitude hmm. among the exhausted and hungry German populace. With the war turning against Germany, he returned to the front lines Again. but was temporarily blinded by a British gas attack in 1918. Oh my a month gosh, later, this guy feels still recovering in hospital, thing, Hitler learned of Germany's defeat and surrender. The terms of the peace treaty were tough on Germany. No it had to Hitler pay a lot of money a and lose a lot of soldiers. These conditions weakened Germany and humiliated the German people. Europe's borders changed after the war too. New countries were formed out of Russia's lost territory, Austria-Hungary was dissolved, and there was one big new country splitting Germany into two. Hitler, seeing the country he loved humiliated like this, said that hatred grew in him for those responsible, by which he meant communists and Jews, who he wow, believed had stabbed Germany in the back from. by spreading dissent and anti-war propaganda That is where it came from. Whoa. Oh, there's a part two. Yo, I'm gonna look for part two. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait a while. Oh my, I think I'm gonna either react to part two now or on a separate. I'm gonna look for part two. Wow. Okay, so that was something that is, wow. You know, as I said, you think people, we as human beings, we don't just pop out and become nice or become wicked or become destructive. We go through things when we we're young. Either it molds us into somebody nice or it molds us into somebody angry. How a child is treated sometimes can affect them as an adult. That's why that is the most innocent time and they have to be taken care of. Because according to how they are treated or how they experience life as a child, that could really mess them up, mess up the entire world. Okay, thank you guys for requesting. I'm going to look for part two, of course. May try to do it in the same video or do it in another video, of course. Thank you for requesting. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, guys. If you want me to react to the video, of course, I love this video. Oversimplified. And you, it's good to learn new things about the entire world. Okay, thank you so very much. Bye, guys. We still remember it like it was yesterday. The devastation, the loss of homes and businesses, the loss of family, friends and loved ones. Dominica, the nature island, seemed bitten, broken by the immense strength of Hurricane Maria. But that was the past. What we see now is the beauty of nature, its resilience, its strength, an island reborn. Over the past 12 months, Dominica has made significant strides in its transition towards recovery. While there is still progress to be made, the vast majority of the country is back to normal. Through government's efforts, many damaged homes have been re-roofed and rebuilt. 12,900 homes were repaired of 25,447 which were affected, the majority of others repaired privately. Major utilities have generally been restored, with 97% of patrons having access to the electric grid. 98% of customers reconnected to the national water supply and 100% mobile phone service connectivity. Hundreds of hotel rooms have reopened with 57% presently available. An additional 340 new rooms are due to open by the end of 2019. Our most popular sites and attractions are open with 42 of 45 main tourist attractions currently open and all road networks are accessible. Nature's rejuvenation is everywhere. In the overabundance of rolling verdant hills, in gushing watery heavens, or inspiring underwater experiences and flora and fauna at every turn. We are Dominicans and this is the new Dominica 
and like her Kalinago name, White Kuboli, tall is her body and proud and ready to be rediscovered. <laughs>